Alright. <laughs> little, 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 little spot in my throat there. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to today's video. Today's video looks to be really, really cool. Really cool. Probably one of the best characters in Dragon Ball to show off today. Sadly, this, this item actually was available in our shop. You've got to go check out the shop. It's www.pixeldad.com yeah, Go check it out. We've got loads of cool stuff on there. We unbox them. We show them off. And you know, most of them are available in the store. So go check it out. Also go check out all our you know, other social media followers on there. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, slash X, Fred's. Uh, we're all over the place. TikTok. Go check us out. It's just look for Pixel Dad UK and you know, there, there we'll be. Okay, so today we're looking at this Blood of Saiyan's Bardock now. It was available in the store, it sadly sold out. This is the one I bought for the channel you know, for me to, to unbox and show you guys, but I've already sold out of the figure. So, you know, watch this space and we'll have to get some more in. This is a very cool piece. Bardock comes the father of Goku. This is the Super Saiyan edition. What's really cool about this piece is that the, the Saiyan here is actually painted gold. Yeah, so we're gonna go have a quick unbox and have a look at it. it does look really good. Like some of the texture in you know for the for the outfit now does actually look really good. Um so yeah we're gonna unbox and have a look um check it out. And we can see the box out here. This is a Bandai Namco product. We've been Bandai Namco I don't know whether or not that's like based on so sort of like so sort of the games. So like you know like Xenoverse that type of thing. Obviously I know it there was a TV special uh you know where he um went back in time to start the Super Saiyan legend turned Super Saiyan against one of his ancestors, Lord Chill. Yeah, I don't, I don't really get that, but yeah, I, I think this might be uh, when he's got Dragon Ball Super advertising here in the corner. Obviously, he's not in Dragon Ball Super uh, as yet. Um, he he's shown up in the manga, but not as a Super Saiyan. But yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing this is like themed along on the lines of like something like Xenoverse and, and the games. Speaking of games. Tenkaichi 4 is, is coming soon. Oh, I'm so excited. Maybe I should start a gaming channel. What do we think? Play anime style games? That would be cool. Stick with the, stick with the theme. So let's see, see what this, how many pieces this comes in. I dare say it's probably the it was putting the head on. As always. I'm Presto and Bandai. Recyclable. Captain Planet, motherfucker. Very nice. So what we got? Yeah, so it comes with a couple of pieces. Whether or not we've got a, a stand. It's oh, actually, there's actually a base if you need it. Um, so we'll check that out. See if that's actually needed because a lot of these um things just stand up really well on their own that like you don't actually need you don't you don't need the base like all the, like the little footprint that comes with it like sometimes like the plastic piece for the foot and yeah it's, it's a nice solid plastic base nothing special about it that's what she said bit of a dust magnet in my opinion It's nice that they give you it because you know, if you if you put it in a place where maybe it gets shakes. I mean, you know, I don't know if you live in an earthquake zone where you get like small tremors all the time. However, you know, it might be helpful for you. Where I live in the UK, you know, rumbling of the you know the, 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 the dump truck is what uh, shakes my house. That's about it. Okay, so let's take a look. It comes in a couple of pieces. Check out the body first. There's actually quite a lot of detail in here, more than I thought there'd be. Yeah, these, these things are all nice. These are nice. And the tail, obviously, it's Bardock still has a tail. It's still capable of turning into a, you know, the great ape, the the Uzaru, if it need be, on the full moon. These, this, out this, the outfit's really nice. I like these so much, like. The fact that they've not bonded it to the leg and gone through the extra effort here of like doing a standout bit. I mean, they are slightly flexible. I wouldn't want to play with them too much. You know, I'll let my children near it. 
affair of breaking off, but yeah, that's a nice touch that there's there's a gap there, like and it's not just they haven't just bonded it to the leg. You know, and cheaped out. Armor looks really good as well. Nice little some detailing on it, like as you guys can see on it, like some scratching. It's really cool. Again with his what what would you what do you call these? They're not like armbands, are they like sweat sweat armbands sort of braces or whatever, you know, like Saiyan braces. Yeah, actually this style of armor is is I think it's my favourite of the Saiyan armor. I know Vegeta has one like this, but with the and obviously it's white, but with nothing with with these missing, I actually really like Bardock's one. It, it's dark with you know, with the little bit of extra there, but without the bloody massive shoulder pads like it's the nineteen eighties. Yeah, really good. That's that's nice. There's no there's no normally I, you all know I like to critique and I can't actually see any bonding marks around. There's no obvious just joins about here. That's really good, really well done. Oh, very, very unnoticeable if there is any. Yeah, great work there. I think mean, I'll maybe here, but then could that's you get aware of that being part of the jumpsuit, right? You've got to bind it together somewhere. Um, well, let's have a look at the head. Now, like I say, the, the standout bit for this was the fact that instead of it just being like yellow hair, it's gold and it looks good. That's a nice metallic gold on there. Really nice looking bit, looking piece. And yeah, look, you could have just hit that and not bothered with that, but the fact that that's there, and obviously you can see his, the rest of his headband on there, which obviously was white and uh, it was a piece of someone's, was it? I can't remember whose arm, it was a piece of someone's clothing, wasn't it? He picked up um, after Dodoria killed them. Uh, I called his team and it, it stains with it stains with blood. Yeah, the, the head looks good. Like none of these features are just all painted from what I could tell. I mean it's other than this that there it's not a there's nothing into this you know, there's no cut into the plastic there for that piece. But all these other bits that are painted they are actually cut into uh, into the piece itself. Yeah, I'm actually really, really impressed. The tail looks good as well. There's plenty of, of detail on here. The question is, once it's all assembled, do I need this ugly base? Because they're the bits that let it down really, like this to me, it's nice, great, you've got a base, keep it stable if needed. If you've got it somewhere where it could easily get knocked over, you've got pets or something, you know, like, you know, cats and stuff jump up on shelves, of course they do. Um, you know, one of these things falling over all the time. Or you've got kids that like to, to touch, of course you need a base. But sometimes they're a bit boring, aren't they? There's nothing to stop you though. If, if you're into like modeling and stuff, um, there's plenty of like, you know, places you know, like Warhammer and you D and D like modeling where you, you decorate the bases yourself, you know, with some stuff from a modeling shop. Um so let's see if you'll just stand up on his own. He does, great. So for me, I'm not using the base, this will just go on the shelf like that. But we will we'll see if it goes in nice and easy, because sometimes these aren't quite um lined up correct. And they're a bit of a pain. No, goes on, goes on really well. The full marks there, the base does go on really well. But yeah, it would look good with some like, you know, like grass and some rocks, that type of thing. Like, you know, like you stood on a planet. Um, yeah, that's a really good looking bit. I love that. The hair is, this gold is fantastic. More of these, please, Bandai Namco and uh, Ben Presto. I want a Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, please. So we've been using the Lazy Susan in some of these videos now going forward so that you can have a better look at the piece um, from all sides. I'm actually not going to use the stand thread. I want to see if it'll stand on its own so that we can use the light that comes with this uh, thing. I mean, it fits in the little semicircle, the little circle we got there pretty well. A few moments later. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really happy with this one. 
I'm, I'm glad I I had the the foresight to uh to get to reserve one of these myself because like I say they're all gone. Um, I will try and get some more in for the shop. Um, you know, it, we do got we got plenty of other stuff in stock though. So head over to www.pixeldaduk.com. You know, you check out um, all our stuff on there. Um, we ship to the UK. Um, looking at international shipping, uh, we'll eventually figure that out. Um, but yeah, check us all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, ring the notification bell, leave comments. Um, you know, what I, what else do you want me to see? I, I've gone very like shonen, um, very masculine in my character picking. Um, do you want to see some more stuff? Um, I know a lot of people are into. You know, looking at you know like female characters and, and stuff along that. Do you want to see any of that? Let me know in the comments. Um, we could look into that. Um, you know, it'd be cool to look at some Sailor Moon stuff and that. You know, it's just great. You know, there's, there's plenty of great animes out there. Um, but yeah. Um, what do you think to this? Blood of Saiyans. Bardock. I really like it. It's gonna look. It's a, it's a great addition to anyone's collection um, of pieces. Super happy with this one. And in my mind, I'm I'm hopefully thinking it's not for the the, the terrible Lord Child uh, edition. <laughs> Just because, uh, I mean, actually, that that's in the background right now. But um, I'm hoping, that, yeah, this this is the Bardock from you know, Xenoverse or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm very happy. I hope you are too. Um, I really enjoyed uh, doing this video today and I will uh, catch you all in the next videos. As always, take care of yourselves and, and each other. Yeah.